um, wiping the multitude, wiping away a multitude of sin. Right. This is how. This is this is how. This is how we we. I mean, we all we're unprofitable servants. But this is how we say thank you. This is how you know by repenting. This is how we you know say get our sins washed away. Well, we're in the time of Acts. Huh. So this is how we act out our work. Huh. In the in the in the theater that was already written. Huh. It's on the script. Scriptures. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Scripts. Yeah. Go ahead. Where we are. Yeah, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10, verse 9. Yeah. But wisdom deliver from pain those that attend unto, upon her. When the righteous flee from his brother wrath, she uh, guide him in right paths. Show him the kingdom of Yahweh and give him knowledge of holy things. Right. Wisdom deliver from pain, deliver you from sin, deliver you from wickedness, man, hurtfulness. All right, deliver you from physical pain to come in judgment. All right, because uh, what is that? Uh, what is that? Psalms 104, reincarnation. Yeah, Psalms 104. I think it's at the end of the verse. 104 or 104. 104. I got I got the I got it. 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 I in due season. Right, and that's what we're praying to get our meat in due season. And this is the time when the Lord said He prepared a table for us in the presence of our enemies. In the midst of our enemies. In the wilderness is where He let down the manna. See that? He prepared the food for us. Go ahead. He said, I have slain my fat ones and killed my oxen. The food is ready. The table is ready, but our people don't give a damn. Go ahead. That thou givest them thy gather. Thou openest thy hand. They right. are filled with good. Yeah, go ahead. Thou hidest thy face. Hey, the devil himself. Oh, What's up, Lucifer? Hey, look at this. Look at this uh, tail. Go ahead. Say, say, say. Say, say. You said God is black, dude. Yeah. I don't care what he said. That's Lucifer. <laughs> right. All right, this is back at the book of Psalms 104. Verse 29. Right, right. Thou hidest thy face. They are troubled. Right, so when a person dies, the Lord turns his face away from you. All right, man. You know, he turns his face away from you. And he'll let you die. He won't protect you. He's not looking over you anymore. In Psalm 91, he said he's going to give his angels charge over you. See, the, the, see, the two-thirds he's not going to do that with. All right, go ahead. Thou takest away their, their breath. So he takes away their breath, meaning they die. Or they lose the spirit. You see that? Go ahead. They die. See, once you fall into the, uh, amongst the congregation of the dead, oh. that's when you die. All right? So you die spiritually first, and then you die a physical death. That's why the Lord said to seek his faith. That's why, because his face, his face turned from you in a dead state, man. You made it in the congregation of the dead. Yeah. But the ones that are of his elect, that have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, they're gonna see the face. They're gonna seek the face of the Most High, and they're gonna find his face. Right. What's his face? Huh? Yahushua. Huh? You know, huh. He, he gonna hide. He gonna hide Yahushua from you. <laughs> and you won't know about him in this day. Tree of life. To be able to be saved, the tree of life. You'll be what? Under the tree of death. Go ahead. Alright, this is Proverbs 28, 28 and 9. It says, He that turn away, turn, turn away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. That's right, man. Come on. That's, that's, that's serious that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Whosoever turns the ear away from the, the most high, from, from the truth, and forsake his way, alright, it's going to be destroyed. Alright, step on step, man. Right. Scriptures say charity turneth away wrath, man. It covereth for multitude of sins. So the Lord, if He ain't set you up to do this work, He's not trying to heal you. He's setting you up to be destroyed. 
Yeah. All right, brother. Peace to you, man. All right, man. You too. Be safe, man. All right. Go ahead, brother. This is Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. Yeah. Every word of Yahweh is pure. He is a shield unto them right, that put their trust in him. Right. If you trust in the Lord, Yahweh, his son, Yahweh, Shah, and his true name, he said he's going to protect you when martial law comes. He protects you and your family from the coming uh, death that's coming to America. All right. It's right at the door. And that's what he's promising you, man, to, to break out the teeth of these heathens. That they'll have no might against you. Everything they form against you is going to fail, man. All right, oh. go ahead. That was it on those? No, that was it. We ain't got a precept. Back up what you just said. Hell yeah, go ahead. Then we're going to finish that. Go ahead. All right, this is the book of Psalms. Chapter 33. Verse 10. The Lord break up the castle of the heathen tonight. He make up the devices of the people of none of faith. Done. And that's basically the back of the elder, man. Right. You know, all these things, vain things that the so-called white men and the rest of these heathen oh, nations Beautiful. have imagined against the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. With their school systems, their jobs, yeah. so far for so this whole system. Hey. It's going to fail, man. What's that? The mouth of the frog. Oh, my God, that. It's going to fail. You know what right. about Yahweh Shah says? He rule up in the kingdom of men. That's right. You know? He direct man's foot pals. Man don't direct death. He gave them the, the charge over this kingdom to have. Right. You know? And he's going to give us our time to shine. That's right. And what he say? He created the wicked for himself, even for the day of evil. Fine. But he created them. <laughs> and everything that they're doing, even the steps that they walk to their demise, to their death. All right? And to their perdition. <laughs> They go. They say the so-called white man Esau. They go up on into, into perdition. That's what they walk into. While they destroying us in the streets, the Lord ready to, to destroy them. He a black man. All right, brother. This is Revelation chapter 16. I'm gonna start at verse. I'm gonna start at verse 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like pearls come out of the mouth of the dragon. Right, and this is their might coming from the Roman Empire again. That was stemmed down through NATO all the way to what? America, man. After 1949, when the military was established uh, through NATO with America. You see that? Their might and their push around the world. You know? And their religion was established and their banking was established, man. Through the Illuminati, through the Federal Reserve, and through the Roman Empire. Where the Roman Empire runs all your churches, even the mosques. They over all of that shit. They're the ones that gave uh, the ability to you Muslims to follow an idol for 365 days of the year. Uh, Muhammad. All right, go ahead. And out of the mouth of the beast. Right, and out of the mouth of the beast, which is NATO. Go ahead. And out of the mouth of the false, false prophet. All right. Out of, out, of, out of the mouth of the false prophet, which represent what? Uh, the, uh, the, um, Catholic. the Catholic Church. The what? Uh, he threw me off. The Pope. See that? And all your false prophets that stem up under that, and out of the NATO, whatever stems up under that, the American military, because if you look on the American military, on their beret, it's, it's a NATO symbol. The Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites of the Bible. All right? And what else? The banking system. So all of these things are failing. The banking system is failing through the dollar, and their economy, and their petrodollar. It's all failing. It's tankered. And then their... Uh, their, their religion is being destroyed through the Lord setting up the men of the Lord, whose who's, 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 uh, weapons of war are not carnal, but are spiritual and mighty through the pulling down of strongholds, man. All right? Pulling these strongholds down in the mind. Because we don't have to go destroy these idols or these churches to destroy the idols. We have to destroy the idols in the minds of the people. So that's being done in the minds of the elect. All right? And what else? It says the, mil the military. And their military is scared as hell. It's been spread thin around the four corners of the earth. And they, uh, the Lord kept them here and raised up the other people's militaries above them. So now they're, they're, they've become the... They're high as a low, and the other nations, they become strong. All right, look at Esau. That's what they do. That's how they came over into America when they were putting us in slavery. They was all drunk. You know... Cause they ran out of uh, they ran out of wine, they ran out of uh, 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 juices. So the only thing they had was beer, man. 
And that's how they got hooked on that shit. They used to drink nothing but beer in, in the boats. Esau. They would drink beer like it was water. You can look it up. They, they ran out of resources, so they had to eat pigs. The only they had pigs, they brought pigs over because they populate quickly. You know, you can birth them right on the boat. And they ate pigs and they drank beer. And and, and 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 the Native Americans, you could smell them from the boat miles away. They said you could smell death coming from these damn pigs. They smelt like nasty ass pigs, man. You could smell them from the boat when they seen the white sails, which matches up with Zechariah 5, where it talks about the uh, the stork. All right, two storks. Portugal and Spain, where it talks about the flag of the uh, boats showing up on the shores, man. All right, taking us into slavery. All right, this is um, Psalms chapter 9, verse 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forgot your how will be slunk in the start of 15. I said, it says, the heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made in the net, which they hid in their own foot taken. Right, so their own riches is their trap. Their own, their own worldly wisdom is their trap. You see that? It, it has trapped their own people. You know, their own military is their trap. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites of the Bible, man. God's true name is Yahweh, and his son name is Yahweh And the Paleo ain't the Hebrew. And World War Three is about to break out. There's only one way out to repent. All right? Uh, go ahead. Where we at? Oh, that was it? Somebody get Job 29 and 17? Oh, go ahead with that one, brother. All the way to three. All right. It's Sirach 51. I'm going to start from one. It says, Sirach 51 and one. I will thank thee, O Lord, and key, and praise thee, O God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, my Savior. Right. I, will do, I do give praise unto thy name. For thou art my defender and helper, and hast preserved my body from destruction. Right, now is, is Smith and Wesson your helper? Is your woman your helper and your defender? Is your house your helper and your defender? You know, the scriptures say money shall be used as a defense. But what's going to defend you from the Esau? Money can't even defend us from the crackers. The only thing that can defend you is you turning back to the knowledge that destroyed us, that you're an Israelite. That the Father's true name is Yahweh, and his son Yahweh shall, who to call on? Alright? He's like Rob. He's like my bro Rob. He's like walking like that's how you walk in church. Go ahead, bro. And from the snare of the slanderous tongue. And the snare of the slanderous tongue, man. You and, know? It's like, nah, you good. And from the lips that for its lies. And has been my helper against my adversaries. Right, so what lips for his lies? Esau. He said he go astray as soon as he be born, <laughs> uh, speaking lies. And he said, you are of your father the devil. The works of your, uh, your, of your father you shall do. You know, he, go, uh, he, he, is, he is a liar and the father of it. He was a liar from the beginning. And the far, father of it, right? And abode not in the truth. And abode not in the truth, brother. You right. It's not in it. It's not in him. So read that again. It says, For thou art my defender and helper, and hast preserved my body from destruction. Right, man. And from the snap of the slanderous tongue, and from the lips that forge lies. And that's twofold. The body of your house child is being uh, prepared. Uh, uh, what does it say? It says, <clears throat> It has preserved my body from destruction. Right, the whole the whole body of your house is being preserved. All right, even your single body, the individual body. Go ahead. Huh. And from the snare of the slanderous tongue. Right, and from the snare of the slanderous tongue, man, our people, slanders. They say he called them a nation of scorpions and vipers, man. Go ahead. And from the lips that forge lies. Right, two thirds of my people and Esau. Go ahead. And has been my helper. Against my adversaries. Yep, it has been our helper against our adversaries, man. And what's that, Deuteronomy 28? We say you sold it to your enemies? Go on. Yep, so he said our adversaries, and what's that? The word adversary means what? Antichrist. Got it. Right? The words, the ones that are, uh, that are contrary to us. He said what? Adversary. What does the word adversary mean? Satan. So who's Satan on this earth? The so-called white man. They're the adversary to the truth. They're the adversary to righteousness. They're the adversary to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Alright? Oh yeah. Because that's what the word Satan means, adversary. 
They think it's a game. They're going into slavery. Go ahead. It's Rock 51 and 3. And has delivered me according to the multitude of thy mercies and greatness of thy name from the teeth of them that were ready to devour me. That's right. And they're ready to devour. They're ready to devour us as a snare as a, of a fowler, man. You know, they're ready to pounce. They're waiting. They're lurking in the dark like a greedy lion, ready to, to devour its prey. But the Lord said we're going to no longer be the prey. All right? Uh, read that part, the last part one more time, Baba Kasha. Come on. It says, And greatness of thy name from the teeth of them that were ready to devour me. Right, from the who? The military. They got martial law ready to come in. You see that? They're trying to devour us with their lies, with the religion. They want to devour us with their system, their banking, with the RFID chip. But the Lord said he's going to keep you from the hour of temptation. All right? And he'll keep you until the end in this truth. And he'll keep you from their military when they raise up a standard against you. See that? He's going to lift, well, well, when they come in as a flood, he said he's going to lift up a standard against them to defend his elect. So that's the teeth of the so-called white man. That's their teeth and their might. And the Lord going to break it out, man. Break out their goddamn teeth with a powerful-ass blow, a hangmaker, uppercut, jab, right cross. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. And it says, And out of the hands of such as sought after my life, and from the manifold afflictions which I had. That's right, man. So the Lord said he'll deliver you from the ones that seek our life, which is who? Esau, all these other heathens. Mainly Esau, though. They want white supremacy. They just like, yo, we, got, we want every black person off the earth. Sakari. That's what they want. All right? <laughs> they got something called white supremacy. That's what they want, man. So they got a natural hatred in you. Uh, in them. Uh, go ahead, brother. That was it? Go on, that was it. All right, so he said, no, no, he said, what? Those that seek his life and from yourself. So the Lord is able to, to deliver us from our own selves and from this damn devil, uh, Esau, the so-called white man. All right, and their system, man. Reach up. Right, go ahead. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 10. I'm going to start at verse 4. All right, it says, For whose cause the earth being drowned with the flood, wisdom again preserved it and directed the course of the righteous in a piece of wood of small value. Gone. So just like the brother was saying, man, all right, attending to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, exalting his uh, name. All right, that, that, that shows faith, man. That shows faith that we have in him that he's going to come back and redeem us. And by showing faith uh, uh, in the Lord, all right, that's going to that's gonna be our ticket to salvation. Why? Because we're showing faith that he's going to come back. All right, so therefore, if we get out here and teach these things, man, we have a better shot at salvation, man, if we endure to the end. All right, so just like during these times back then, all right, through uh, Noah with the flood, Lot through the, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, man, wisdom preserved them. Why? Because they were obedient to the Lord Yahweh by Shemel All right. Verse 5, it says, Moreover, the nations in their wicked conspiracy being confounded, she found out the righteous and preserved him blameless unto the Most High, and kept him strong against his tender compassion towards his son. When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities. Of whose wickedness, right, that's my lot. Gone. Of whose wickedness, even to this day, the wasteland that smoke a testimony. Right, man. Even to this day, it's nothing but dirt and ashes now, man. Sodom and Gomorrah. And he said America is going to be destroyed in that same way. China, you're going to be destroyed in that same way. All right, go ahead. Gone. And flesh bearing fruit that never comes to ripeness. And standing pillar of salt is the monument of unbelief of an unbelieving soul. Right. Come on, man. So everything that happened back then, all right, the Lord set up uh, memorials, man, just so that you can know that he's not, not, not about no games, all right? Just so you can know those that turned against him, those that were going against him perish, man. That's the same way America's going to be in this day, all right? America's going to be that lake of fire. It's going to be a, 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 a memorial into all generations, until you after, man. Why? To so know not to turn against the Lord, y'all by shit my own shot anymore. <laughs> That was it. I got a free stuff. No, he can tell you though. Five. Uh, you. Hey, chill. Yeah. Alright, this is the book of Doug. Dude.
chapter 1, verse 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah the, and the cities about them in like manner giving the, themselves over to fornication and yep. going after strange flesh yep. are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. <laughs> ah, and it's just to back up the brother R. Cup, man. Yep. You know, Sodom and Gomorrah and, the, and with the flood, you know what I'm saying, with um, Noah, that, that was set forth as, as an example, man, for all the other kingdoms that wanted to, you know what I'm saying, follow after them to show you what's going to happen if you follow after that wicked example that they have set, man. The kingdoms that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah destroyed a part time. You're right, man. And you, you, you clearly know what judgment is coming for you. Son, so it's no excuse. That, that way you got to pray to the Lord to lead you not at the temptation. You know, well, um, and, to be, and be protected from the might of this damn society. All right, go ahead. Uh, where we at? Uh, that was in on that straw. 29, 17? 29, 17? 17. This is Job, chapter 29, verse 17. All right, go ahead, brother. And I break the jaws of the wicked, pluck the soil out of his teeth. All right, man. So the Lord is breaking the jaw. <laughs> I told you, man. He said he punched him in the cheek and break out his teeth. So what did he do? Out? Read that last part again. Yeah. And pluck the soil out of nah, his read. teeth. Read it over. God. This is verse 17 of Job chapter 29. And I break the jaws of the wicked. Right. The Lord has broken the jaw of Esau, man. And of that statue. All right. Punching in the jaw. Boop. And plucked the soil out of his teeth. So he he broken up their system, broken up their their roots, rooted them up. He broken up their allegiance, made it the, Satan divided against Satan. He breaking up all their power, which is their teeth, their might, their military. All right, all their witchcraft. Where that was it. All right. All right. Psalms. <coughs> And three. No. Yeah. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Right. Right. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Right. They are like the deaf adder that stops our ear, just like the serpent in the garden. All right. That's how the wicked. They, as soon as they have no, they have no place of righteousness within them. All right. As soon as they come out of the womb, they start to go in perdition. Man, they're wicked. All right. They speak lies. It says. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charmers never so wisely. Break their teeth, O Yahweh, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions. All right, so they're just backing up with um, the whole topic of the lesson, how their teeth are going to be broken, their might is going to be broken. And how it's going to start with the dollar. So right. that's where their power comes from behind, that dollar. Right, and that's a twofold scripture talking about Jake first, uh -huh. but it's, it's really talking about Esau. Huh. Now ultimately, that's what got Jake in that state of mind. Huh. Uh -huh. The, the false prophet. You know? Con. You're talking about Esau, but right? Con, because what the scripture said, man, their poison is like a poison of a serpent. That's right. So the so-called white man's his philosophy and all his ways and his doctrines are like poisonous for a serpent. You know how you be bitten from a serpent? Yep. It yeah. takes a while yeah, for that man. poison to take effect. You yep. gotta go through that's the whole bloodstream. Con, that's yep. the same thing with their philosophies, man. You know, in the end, it's going to get you destroyed. Right, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just like the, the elder mentioned earlier, man, you die spiritually first. Yeah, then, Once you get, die that spiritual death, then you're going to die physically. Yeah, yeah. Just like, just like the venom breaks down the body. God. Yeah, break down that. Yeah, that's deep. Man. Breaks down the mind. It breaks down that nation. God. <laughs> yeah. Broke down the nation. God. Broke down the body. Yeah, yeah. The body of Israel.